I am of another language, sadly, and of the secret sun, so those unaware of celestial matters know me not. Imperceptible as an angel upon a tomb, I trumpet forth white fabrics that flap in the air, and then again enfold, revealing something, my digested beasts, perhaps, till finally there remains a seabird, an orphan over the waves, as happened. Yet for years now in midair I've grown tired, and I've need of earth, though this remains shut and sealed, latches on doors, bells overheard, nothing. Ah, speak to me, you believable things. Girls who appeared from time to time out of my breast, in you old farmsteads, forgotten taps left running in slumbering gardens, speak to me. I've need of earth though this remains shut and sealed. So, accustomed as I am to shortening eyes and lengthening O's, now I'm fashioning a verb, like a burglar his passkey, a verb ending in eight or age or eyes, one to obscure your one side until your other side appears. A verb with few vowels, yet numerous consonants, deep rusted D's or C's or T's, purchased at bargain prices from Hades stores, since from such places it's easier to emerge like Darius's ghost, terrifying the living and dead. Here let heavy music be heard, enlightened let the mountains move, Time to test the key, so saying I, decrasticate. A strange fierceness appears, masquerading as spring, with sharp rocks and pointed shrubs everywhere. Next, plains riddled with Zeus and Hermes. Finally, a sea, mute like Asia, all shredded seaweed in Kirky's eyelashes. So what we called celestial is not, love not, eternal not, not one thing accords with its name. Nearest to slaughter grow dahlias, and the tardy hunter with ethereal game returns, and it's always, alas, too soon. Ah, we never suspected how undermined by divineness the world is, what perpetual rose is gold it needs to balance the void that we leave, hostages all of a different duration that our mind's shadow conceals. So be it, friend, you who hear. Do you hear in the citron's fragrance the distant bells? Do you know the garden's corners where the evening breeze entrusts its newborn? Did you ever dream of a vast summer that you might cross, no more encountering furies? No. That's why I decrasticate, for the heavy bolts creaking give way, and the great portals open to the secret sun's light for an instant, that our nature The third one may be revealed. There's more. I won't go on. No one accepts what's free. In an evil wind, you're lost or calm follows. This much in my language, and more by others and others, though truth is exchanged only for death.